Hey, what's up everybody? This time around I wanted to bring you the concept of ninja gas cloud harvesting in the wormhole space. Now what I mean by that is doing the hidden run gas harvesting in the wormhole even though you're not established in there. It is as simple as finding the wormhole in your high sec location that leads to unknown space and then exploring it from within to find the gas sites. The best main workhorse for this job in my opinion is the venture. The bonuses that this ship has turn what is two gas harvesters into essentially four. Let's take a look at the fit. It's very simple and essentially you can't go wrong as long as you fit the gas harvesters. I didn't bother with the rigs, they're completely up to you. And in the high slots of course I have two gas harvesters and the scan probe launcher. The mid slots are left as my previous fit with the microbe drive, the service scanner and the ECM burst. And in the low slot I went for the inertial stabilizer to maximize my line time, which is essential in wormhole if you want to get away from someone. Even though I fit the core probe launcher to the venture, I highly recommend having a dedicated exploration ship to scan down for wormholes and the sites inside the wormhole. In fact, I would recommend having three ships for ninja gas harvesting in the wormhole. First, the dedicated exploration ship, and then the DPS ship to get rid of the rats that eventually pop into the gas harvesting sites, and of course your venture. In theory, it is doable with just the venture, but it will take you a bit longer to find all of the exploration sites, and of course for most of the gas harvesting sites, not all, but most of them, you have about 20 minutes before rats start to pop in. So essentially after 20 minutes you have to find the next site to harvest gas in. The reason why I left the core probe launcher on the venture is for those cases when you go back to your wormhole and it's simply not there. If that happens and you do not have the scanner probes, you are pretty much screwed because there's no way you're gonna get out now. At least not with your cargo intact. The only thing you can do is self-destruct, at which point you lose your clone and you lose your ship along with all the gas that you have mined. Having the core probe launcher is simply an insurance policy for having the means to exit back into the Empire space. If you're confident that the wormhole back to your system is not going to collapse and you have an exploration ship already, what you can do instead of fitting the core probe launcher is the ECCM. That module will make it a lot tougher for other people to scan you down inside the wormhole, because the wormhole is actually a very dangerous space, much more so than low sec. There's pretty much no way to tell how many people there are within the wormhole system. So you always have to keep a close eye to the D-scan. And even then a cloaked ship might already be waiting for you at the gas harvesting site. And that's another reason why a venture is a better ship to use for this than the prospect, simply because it's so much cheaper to lose and replace. If you have never had any experience with the wormhole space, I highly recommend that you research it a little bit. Wormholes vary in size as well as difficulty for the solo player, with some of the toughest ones being virtually impossible to handle on your own. The gas size themselves vary as well as you might expect. Not just in terms of the gas that they have, but also in terms of the rats that appear in it. Like I mentioned before, most of the gas harvesting sites will have rats spawning about 20 minutes after activation of the site. But watch out for the ordinary perimeter site, because that one has sentries that will activate immediately on your warp in. The only way to handle this is with your DPS ship. And be careful about warping in there with just your venture because likely you will be destroyed at the first volley. The kind of sites you encounter depends on the rating of the wormhole system. The tougher the wormhole, the better are the sites inside of it. That also goes without saying for how lucrative gas harvesting can be. The toughest wormhole systems will give you the most reward. But even the systems which you can easily solo can give very nice ISK return. This time around I got more than 11 million ISK of estimated value for my full cargo hold. That is at least double of what the full venture fit cost me. The only problem with gas harvesting for the newer players is a rather prohibitive cost of the skill book needed to do this. So this is not something that you can attempt within the first days of playing, but definitely this is something you can look forward to. If you have any questions about ninja gas harvesting in the wormhole, please comment on this video and I'll do my best to answer them. You can also check out my videos on Losec Mining and the Prospect Expedition Frigate. Thank you for watching and safe flying out there!